In the vast tapestry of television history, certain shows possess the uncanny ability to transport us through time, unfurling a reel of nostalgia that tugs at the strings of our memory. Cast your thoughts back to that fateful moment when you first crossed paths with the 1988 TV series, The Wonder Years. Do you remember the flicker of excitement as you settled into the couch, the screen a portal to the late 60 seconds and early 70 seconds? The show, like a well-worn photo album, documented the awkward yet endearing journey of Kevin Arnold and his friends through the labyrinth of adolescence. Perhaps it was that memorable scene where Kevin stammered through his first encounter with Winnie Cooper, his heart racing like a freight train on an uncharted track. Or maybe it was the way the show's narrative unfolded, narrated by an older Kevin, his voice painting the past with hues of wisdom and fondness. Each episode was a blend of laughter, coming-of-age turmoil, and a touch of bittersweet nostalgia, a concoction that found its way into the hearts of countless viewers. But let's journey beyond the storylines and characters, delving into the lesser-known nooks of the Wonder Years. Amidst the charm and earnestness, did you know that the show's creators carefully handpicked an authentic soundtrack, weaving the tunes of the era into the very fabric of the show? And, as if by some magical twist of fate, it wasn't until 2014 that the complete series was released on DVD, allowing fans to relive the wonder all over again. So, as we stand on the threshold of trivia, ready to unveil the curtain hiding these hidden gems, remember the warmth of your first encounter with the Wonder Years. Let's embark on a journey through time and facts, a delightful exploration that might just reignite your passion for the show. Welcome, dear reader, to a dive into the captivating world of random facts about the Wonder Years, where nostalgia dances hand in hand with curiosity, with curiosity, with curiosity. The Wonder Years, a TV series that aired from 1988 to 1993, captured the essence of growing up in the 1960s through the eyes of its protagonist, Kevin Arnold. Created by Neil Marlins and Carol Black, the show provided a nostalgic and heartfelt glimpse into the challenges and wonders of adolescence. Set in a suburban neighborhood, the series navigated the complexities of family, friendship, and first love. Kevin's family, particularly his parents Jack and Norma, and his best friend Paul Pfeiffer played pivotal roles. Narrated by an older Kevin reflecting on his past, the show employed a unique narrative style that resonated with audiences, fostering a sense of shared experience. With its evocative soundtrack featuring hits from the 60 seconds, the Wonder Years transported viewers to a bygone era while touching on timeless themes. Its candid portrayal of the awkwardness, curiosity, and growth that define youth made it relatable across generations. The series left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent coming-of-age stories. Its exploration of the human condition, accompanied by memorable characters, and poignant storytelling solidified its place in television history. Now, let's delve into some intriguing facts about the show. The show's casting process was meticulous, with Fred Savage chosen as Kevin Arnold after seeing his audition tape. The iconic Winnie Cooper, played by Danica McKellar, became a symbol of first love for many viewers. The show's soundtrack featured numerous classic songs, but securing the rights for the DVD release proved challenging due to licensing costs. Despite its success, the show faced competition from other popular series like The Cosby Show, but its unique narrative approach set it apart. The series tackled serious issues such as racism, bullying, and family dynamics, adding depth to its storytelling. The final episode, wrapping up the characters' storylines, was shot several years after the series ended to ensure a fitting conclusion. The Wonder Years continues to be cherished for its authenticity and relatability, reminding us of the universal journey of growing up, growing up, growing up, growing up. ABC's beloved 1988 TV series, The Wonder Years, achieved a remarkable balance between nostalgia and storytelling, capturing the essence of growing up in the late 1960s. Amid the creative evolution of its protagonist, Kevin Arnold, whispers from behind the scenes revealed an intriguing path not taken. In a bid to infuse an edgier vibe into the show as Kevin matured, ABC toyed with the idea of enlisting TV writer and producer David Chase. According to the 2013 book Difficult Men, behind the scenes of a creative revolution, ABC envisioned an evolution where Kevin's character mirrored Holden Caulfield from Catcher in the Rye. Chase, acclaimed for his later work on The Sopranos, penned a script that nudged Kevin towards smoking cigarettes and drinking coffee, mirroring Caulfield's rebellious spirit. 
However, the writings Edginus proved a step too far, and Chase's collaboration with the Wonder Years never came to fruition, forever relegated to the realm of what-ifs. In another behind-the-scenes revelation, the show's enchanting voiceover had a unique orchestration. To facilitate actor Fred Savage's authentic reactions, an actual narrator was on set, audibly articulating the voiceover lines. This real-time narration breathed life into the scenes, allowing Savage to respond naturally to the dialogues unfolding in his character's mind. The show's concluding chapter bore a touching family connection. In the poignant finale, the narrator's child's voice was none other than Daniel Stern's son, Henry. A heartwarming decision by the producers, this choice aimed to encapsulate the essence of the series. A heartfelt conversation across generations, culminating in a meaningful farewell. The Wonder Years not only shaped TV narratives, but also carried tales of its own. From the road not taken to the cherished family connections that lingered beyond the final credits. As fans continue to revisit the show, these hidden stories remind us that even behind the rosy veneer of nostalgia lies a rich tapestry of creative choices and human bonds. And human bonds. And human uncertainty shadows the heartwarming farewell of The Wonder Years as the beloved 1988 TV series The Wonder Years neared its sixth season finale. The future hung in the balance, casting a shadow of uncertainty over the show's conclusion. A distinctive coming-of-age tale set against the backdrop of the 1960s and 1970s. The show had captured the hearts of viewers across the nation. Yet, its creators were unclear about the future, prompting a remarkable production approach to its finale. The series' finale was written and initially produced with an open-endedness that mirrored the era's tumultuousness. The creators hesitated to tie up loose ends in case the show was granted another lease on life. In a twist that mirrored the uncertainty faced by its characters, the iconic closing narration delivered by Kevin Arnold was withheld until the last minute. The producers, ever vigilant of the show's pulse, held off recording this poignant reflection until they were sure of the show's cancellation. This narrative dance with uncertainty was emblematic of the series' very essence, a nuanced exploration of growing up, family, and change. However, as the chapter came to an end, it was the very uncertainty that fueled the narrative that left fans yearning for a more definitive conclusion. Yet, as the curtain fell on the Wonder Years, a surprise guest appearance breathed an unexpected note of nostalgia into the proceedings. Drawing inspiration from the beloved film A Christmas Story, Peter Billingsley, the actor who had embodied Ralphie in the holiday classic, made a memorable appearance as one of Kevin's roommates in the final episode. This delightful crossover offered a wink to fans of both cherished pieces of pop culture. In a time when network television aimed to appeal to a wide spectrum of viewers, the show's setting remained deliberately vague, inviting speculation about its geographic identity. Though creator Neil Marlins had initially envisioned Long Island, New York, as the backdrop, ABC sought in any town, USA atmosphere, leading to the omission of overt location markers. Yet, discerning eyes noted subtle cues that pointed westward to the suburbs of Los Angeles. Automobiles donned California plates, mountains framed the horizon, and the absence of snow hinted at the Southern California setting. Clues abounded, including Wayne's driver's license displaying a Californian address, and zip code, and the reference to Jack's occupation at a defense contractor, aligning with the region's aerospace industry. While the on-screen puzzle pieces leaned towards a Californian tale, occasional nods towards Ohio added an intriguing layer. Accidental drives to Loudonville and Hillsdale further fueled speculation, along with Jack's business trips to Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. This dialectical dance between settings heightened the enigma, creating a show that, much like life itself, defied a single, straightforward narrative. As the series melded fact and fiction, uncertainty, and nostalgia, it echoed the paradoxes of growing up, a theme it so artfully depicted. The very essence of the Wonder Years lay in its ability to navigate these intricacies, leaving an indelible mark on television history. Potato permeation, the culinary quirk of the Wonder Years in the realm of 1980s television, few shows etched memories as enduring as the Wonder Years. This poignant coming-of-age drama chronicled the life of Kevin Arnold and his journey through adolescence against the backdrop of suburban America in the 1960s. Yet, amidst the emotional narratives and nostalgic moments, an unexpected recurring theme quietly found its way onto the Arnold family dinner table. 
A peculiar culinary quirk unfolded throughout the series. The regular mention of potato dishes in nearly every dinner scene. From mashed to scalloped, and even the humble potato salad, the starchy motif became a subtle, yet remarkable, thread woven into the narrative. Whether by design or mere coincidence, the writers seemed to infuse the script with this unassuming culinary connection, offering an additional layer of familiarity for viewers. The potato's presence underscored the show's focus on the ordinary aspects of life, where dinner table conversations mirrored genuine familial interactions. By sprinkling references to this humble spud across episodes, the series invoked a sense of comfort, acting as a reminder that life's true richness often stems from life's simplest elements. While the potato motif might be the show's unassuming signature, the tales behind the scenes can be equally intriguing. Actor Jason Hervey, who portrayed Wayne Arnold, shared a personal link to one of the series' memorable moments. The scenes in which Wayne playfully inches the car forward while Kevin attempts to enter were inspired by Hervey's own life. Recollecting his youth, Hervey revealed that his older brother enacted this mischievous ritual, inadvertently sparking a relatable sibling dynamic that resonated with viewers. Regrettably, even beloved shows faced their sunset. The Wonder Years, after six seasons of capturing hearts, met its end amid a confluence of factors. Declining ratings and escalating production costs were indeed factors, but tensions between network executives and the show's creators also contributed. A conflict arose as the characters matured, prompting producers to explore weightier themes that echoed the transitioning protagonists. Yet, the network, cautious of the show's time slot, balked at the idea of venturing into more adult subjects. As the curtains closed on this beloved series, its legacy endured, much like the simple potato that peppered its narratives. The show's ability to interweave everyday life's quirks, like the culinary choices of the Arnold family, rendered it both relatable and exceptional. Ultimately, The Wonder Years stood as a slice of television history that celebrated the ordinary, inviting audiences to find wonder in the mundane moments of life. As we take a wistful glance back into the nostalgic tapestry of the late 80 seconds, The Wonder Years stands as an intimate portal to our shared past. Its characters, its anecdotes, and its tender moments have woven themselves into the very fabric of our memories. Like an old friend, it has been a constant presence, echoing the universal experiences of growing up, first loves, and life's triumphs and tribulations. As you close your eyes, perhaps you find yourself journeying through your own personal wonder years, retracing the steps of Kevin Arnold, Winnie Cooper, and the gang. The laughter that echoed through your living room, the emotions that found resonance within your heart, they all converge in this timeless series, forever etched in the annals of television history. Now, dear reader, it's your turn. Unlock that treasure trove of recollections and reflections. What scene made you grin from ear to ear? Which heart-to-heart -heart conversation struck a chord within you? The Wonder Years isn't just a show, it's a mirror reflecting the laughter and tears of our own lives. So, let's embark on a journey together. Share your fondest memories, your most cherished episodes, and the lessons that still linger in your heart. Let's celebrate the bond that transcends time and space, all nurtured by the power of storytelling and the magic of television. Thank you for allowing me to traverse down memory lane with you. Your time and sentiments are deeply cherished, as we collectively revel in the beauty of nostalgia. Until we unravel more tales from the past, keep those memories alive and vibrant. Warmly, your name, your name, your name, your name.